<clears throat> Hi everyone! Hello! It's me Diamond. Me Tina. And a little Joya. And we are Happy Mail from the heart. If you're a new viewer, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back. And a friend. And a you friend. forget that. Oh yeah. And if you are a new viewer, we hope to see or well, hear from you again. So, but we have a little giraffe in our midst. She looks so darn cute. Little giraffe. Show her about I can't turn her because of my thumb. This is her bad. She'll be nice and warm in winter ho or in Wisconsin <laughs> Halloweens. Our Halloweens range from like 35 degrees to like 75. Yeah. So, you never know what we're going to get. Halloween is called We Will Determine. Yep. I remember one year it snowed. Yep. So my mom and Grandma Massey went out and got bags of candy and then just hit them throughout the house. And we got to watch movies in our Halloween costumes and look for the candy yep. because it was, it so, was cold. so bad. So. And then what, and it's it rainy. Rain and oh, yeah. It's been rainy the past three years. Yep. So hopefully this year will be the nice year because usually go it's a streak it usually goes like four rainy two beautiful four rainy two beautiful so but I have a feeling we're gonna get nailed yeah so or it's ice cold yep because there's the year that Bubba was a duck it was so cold yeah and then I went to what I said screw this I went and bought candy and just Yep. We went and we walked a quick trip and bought like hot cocoa and the kids were wearing gloves and hats and mittens. And, and then the last guy on our route, right after the Lombardi Avenue, he jumped. Yeah, his he bowl. just jumped the bulls and I was In like, between. we're good, we're, we're good. good. Yeah. After so. I bought candy on a quick trip. Yep. So, yep. But hi. So, so how was your week when I was gone? Hectic. Really? Did a lot of training yeah. for work. Did this to my wrist and thumb. I just got out of a brace for this wrist and I'm on this one. Except this was a hairline fracture. So, mm -hmm. don't know what I did. No clue. Have to wear it for six weeks. Missed your mommy baby some of the kitties? Yes and no. Like, you know, the kids missed you and I missed you too, but it was kind of nice not having to pack them up, bring them over, drop them off. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was so, bored. Yeah. Too Sounds quiet. Like yeah. Too quiet. Well, Veronica Boot turned out great. We did have rain four days out of the seven or so. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. But the, see, we had rain Tuesday night, Wednesday night, yeah. Thursday night, yeah. Friday night, and then we had rain Saturday, Saturday morning. Yeah. Day. I was going to say rain Saturday morning, so it's actually five days of rain. And it was rain, stop, rain, stop, Saturday. But everything went well. We had to postpone times for like the woods walk, which is where me, hi, and my husband, they go in and they set up. And usually uh, it's uh, theme related. What was the theme this year? I don't know. I didn't walk it because of my ankle. Yeah. But I do know the last thing they had to shoot at was, it Hillary? was Hillary Clinton and Trump and some something Duville, old character from the West. Okay. And it was you choose 2016, and you had to shoot either one. And if you shot the gal, somebody shot the gal, so it wasn't even around. It's gone. You lost points. And I asked who shot more of what. And they did. I said you guys should have took a tally. Yeah. You know, but they didn't. But they said you couldn't see either one of the ladies. Feet. Hillary's face or Trump's. Not a surprise. Yeah. I'm sorry if you're Hillary or Trump uh, supporter, but so, but they only had four teams go out this year. Yeah, that doesn't surprise. It was me. a very small camp because we usually have like 20, maybe 30. 30 camps. We had 21. Oh yeah. We there was a lot of the people. weather has to yeah. Be a lot of it. Though. A lot of people didn't come out because of the weather, but overall it was a good week. Mm -hmm. Me and Dad had. I Me and Dad, we had a good time. That's we good. got our camp set up. The funniest part about the whole week was me and Dad got out there Monday night. We were there by 3.30. We called Mihai on the way out to tell him we were in, coming to Nichols. We are going to set up camp. And if it didn't get too late, we'll swing in by him. Well, me and Dad got on a roll. We had our tent, the bed up, everything set up. 
done and fly most everything out that we were going to use in 9.30, quarter 10. So we pulled in at Mihai's said, hey, you better get down to Nichols. There's a camp set up right away. You just glitter bombed yourself. I'm a vampire. You're a vampire? <laughs> yep. And we're calling over here? Yep. But, uh, but so uh, waiting. So let me finish. Okay. So me and Dad are sitting around, and what did I make for supper? We did something real quick. He had a, we had a fire going. I don't remember what I made, but we were eating. Because I'm like, honey, I'm hungry. Start a fire before it gets too dark because of my eyes. So we just sat down to eat, and then me, Daddy's here. Mihai, Kate, Carrie, and Ian showed up. And they and uh, he's like, I don't know who in the hell said camp yet. I could think it's somebody was playing a prank on me. And we laughed. Uh -huh. like, Betty, so we Betty, I move. We gotta show Daddy what Riley is. Betty? She's a girl! Because she, she loves giraffes. She's got three, four giraffes of things. And she loves them. She looks cute. She's going to be warm, that's for sure. She's definitely warm. I know, I know, I know. I can get in just with all of them. So, sorry. <laughs> hey, this, this is Happy Man. Yes. <laughs> what did he bring in with him? That they're all going with my drawings. I was just thinking they get in my closet. <laughs> Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. As you can see, see, this is my craft room. Random. This is how we are. So, but it's funny when Mihai showed up because little township travels far. A little town news travels far. Far. That there's an odd tent already set up in camp, which is the rendezvous is until Friday, or you can set up Thursday. But laugh because he didn't check his phone. He would have known. So then him and my husband sat down and they talked for a good 45 minutes until he realized how late it was. So, but then we got everything going. Tomahawk so locks up. We did a new tomahawk oh, throw. And then we did a uh, new. Uh, bow and arrow competition this year. Next year I'm doing a frying pan toss. So that's cool. So if you see any cast iron frying pans, cheap at right now, make sure you buy them for me. Okay. Uh, kids went nuts. I did uh, what they call a scalp hunt. And it was yarn cut in strips like this long and people had to put them out along their lodges. Usually I put them all out through the camp but it was raining. So I just did intense when the camps itself and they hated it. They didn't like it. They liked my scavenger hunt. They're like, aren't you doing a scavenger hunt? I'm like, didn't do it this year. Well shoot, I did a scavenger hunt except the one little boy that's allergic to peanuts told me to keep peanuts on it. So I, I gave him a cat name because his name's Peanut. No. <laughs> so so next year I'm doing a scavenger hunt and then at I'm setting my alarm on at six o'clock Saturday morning. We're getting up and we're gonna randomly oh, okay. after I, I'm gonna buy a bunch of prizes, okay? They have to register their kids when they register Friday night with me. Yeah. So I can write their name on the item and they have to search the camp for their certain item. Okay. Plus the list of scavenger stuff. Okay. And it's gonna be we're thinking ten and under because I had two fourteen I had Bubba who was fifteen and Bubba's Kyle Kyle was fifteen. Old. Yeah. So it's Kyle. But there was no, there, I didn't care this year because of the weather. Well, yeah. But next year I'm going to put an angel in it. Me and Christy talked about that. But the thing that they loved the most was up my alley. Uh, crass. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Yep. Every one of them. I had four boys and one girl. They were all up there making popsicle designs. They loved it. That's so surprise. next year I'm going to do crafts again, but I'm going to leave it open. I'm just going to put it under the pavilion, and it's going to stay there, and I can just randomly do it all day. Because the first thing I got hit up Sunday morning, we do crafts again. So I brought them back up to the pavilion. Yeah, but next year it's going to have all those kids again. So, okay. I just figured I'd leave it, you know, it's glue and popsicle sticks and a bunch of buttons. But, well, and then we had the fishing game, which went over well again. Oh, well, yeah, that one always goes Yep. Well. So, kids' games like that had them. And then, oh, we had Apple, Bobbin, some guy, Kyle, and Peanuts' dad, and Zoe's dad brought a barrel. Yeah. And he filled up with water and he threw apples in there because Bob for apples. And then we had sack races. 
Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. So kind of sad we missed it. He walked over and he's like, hey, hi, do you mind if I come? I'm like, go ahead. Mija goes, two thousand sad races. And I'm like, no, he did. Mike did. How do I think of that his name? But overall, kids loved it. They done really do. I mean, no offense, but if, if you oh, don't have things the dummy to, hat. Yeah, I meant to ask you how. <laughs> Each year, there's this stupid little blue hat chuck filled with, with crap. Yeah, with just stuff. Okay, it's um, and if you do something stupid, at stupid the rendezvous, you get awarded the hat, and the cap votes at the end. And Mihai will ask anybody do anything stupid, a hat. Also. We started to sit down and meet high ass and nobody's like, nope. And then Silverado goes, Scott did! What did he do? He got up Sunday morning to go to the bathroom and put his shirt on backwards. <laughs> so he got to Debbie Debbie had Debbie dumb thing will get I you mean, nominated. This is, I mean, yep. You could be the drunken stupor. Or like he's come close three years now because and Mihai himself, who is the Bushway, got it last year. No, he came, he got outvoted for handlebars escapade because we have a guy who it's called White Russian. It's a drink. Oh, it's so good. It's good. So and good. Dwight makes it too, and we finished up handlebars, and we put hand Dwight in handlebars bottle. And everybody, me, George, and Dwight, or waited to see what handlebar would go to his bottle to see if he could tell the difference. Because he says, oh, you can tell me and Dwight's different all the time. So we waited. And I was camped right next door to him. So I watched off and on. And he took a swig, passed it around, took another swig, never said a word. So I'm like, George, he drank it. And we walked over last year, or the year before. And they're like, how's that white Russian? Good. Taste anything different to you? He's like, no, not at all. Dwight goes, not at all. No, me taste. So Dwight takes the swelling and goes, man, this tastes like mine. No, that ain't yours. Well, guess what? It was Dwight's. Wow. And then he goes afterwards. You get so loud when you talk. Oh, I'm getting excited. And then he goes afterwards. Hanover goes, oh, yeah, there's a little bit more cinnamon in it than I would. Yeah. 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 So he got that hat. And then Ian got it last year because of the wire coming down from the pole that he almost Oh, <laughs> yeah. He, he clotheslined himself. Yeah. This year, guess what? Dagger. No. But I hung <laughs> I tore some white strips. Because I've come close to doing that too. So I'm tying the white strips there and Ian's like, like that ideal. I can now the deer can see it. <laughs> but so we didn't go to Nichols this year. We went up north to our good friends Tommy Kitty. They live Oh it is far away. 20, 25 minutes outside of Crivets, which is about forty five minutes north of Green Bay. And uh, it's so beautiful up there. It's woods, lakes, cabins, four wheel trails. Raccoons, skunks. Raccoons, skunks. It's wilderness of Wisconsin. We had a good time. It rained a lot, but. They live by a lake on the hill. They live by a. There's a pond in their backyard. So, yes, it's a marshy swamp in their backyard. And. Uh, we visited with them for a while and it rained and rained and rained and rained and then Saturday it rained all day and then it stopped at like 2.33 o'clock because we wanted to do a cookout with brats and it stopped raining and then we let the kids jump on the trampoline because the trampoline was dry because it was covered and they got to do that and we took down the trampoline and all that for them. It and, was kind of dry. And then um, watched the New American Horror Stories season premiere. Spoilers! Coming up if you keep watching this so don't I warned you about spoilers it is so good so far like it's weird because it doesn't learn in a documentary style you know like mm -hmm. if you watch a ghost story where it's like the people tell you about what happened and then it has actors portray it mm -hmm. portray it that's what they're doing this year so it was a little like I was speaking of movies and stuff take your damn Harry Potter book back you're gonna have to read I can not. Okay. Oh, I just can't. Um, anyway, so like, Ugh, the all that time out there, I, look, I started again. I just can't read that damn book. It's good. Anyway, so, um, Mama, it's about the Roanoke. I'm talking. It's about. I'm going to have to go around you. Okay. It's about the Roanoke <laughs> colonies. I mean, I me what do you need to get? Um. Well, there you go. <laughs> Anyways, it's about the Roanoke colonies, which are the islands up in North Carolina by Virginia. And um, the Roanokes, it was a clan of like 150 people, and they just disappeared. 
Vanished? Vanished. Without a trace. Nobody knows what happened to him. Nobody. The Spanish, the people thought the Spanish came through. This is back from the 1700s. Really cut. I'm sorry. But, um, and people thought the Spanish might have came through and slaughtered them, but the Spanish have no, 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 nothing this is right legit. now. Yeah, this is real. The rolling oak, what I'm saying right now. Rolling Nina. oak. Roll an oak. Roll an oak. It's a Native American word. Yes. Roll an oak. It's just finger red. Ink. So anyways, so people yeah. thought the Spanish came through and slaughtered them, but the Spanish were like, they didn't even know. Hard for Tina. Oh, it was early 1500s. Yeah. But yeah. the Spanish didn't even know that they were there, uh, and there's nothing the, documented. Take my costume on and go for it, you know, to the room before you get ink on it. Yep, there's nothing Sorry. documented by the Spanish that they were through there. And then Powhatan, chief of the Algonquian tribes, said that he slaughtered them, but there's nothing in their historical records either in the Algonquians that they did it. They don't know what happened to them. Hmm. And like when people the came, aliens took them. They don't, we don't know. But so like when the people went back to the colony, you know, because it was a port, everything was like untouched. Like houses still had candles and you know, like wow, cool. fire pits and like the pants were there, yeah, the clothes were there. Down, so yeah. It was just like they got up and were like, oh, well, whatever. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the Mayans. So. Very good. Um, oh, but um, so anyways, I watched the first episode of American Horror Stories, and how it happens is, it's this couple, they move out to L.A., and they're pregnant. I don't want to hear this. You don't even care. You don't watch American Horror Stories. I me. But uh, I'm just saying a little bit. They move out to America, L.A., and they're pregnant. Look at them, you bought me candle. No, I didn't. And um, I did. they get attacked in a gang Ooh. initiation. So then they decide to move back to North Carolina, and they... Walk through the woods. This is what's fucking or freaking weird. Sorry. They walk through this woods in the middle of nowhere. Sassy mo. And stum Sassy mo. Yeah, stumble across this creepy looking house. It's pretty, but it's like You wanna be glitter? Too? No. It's like in the middle of nowhere. You know, and it's abandoned. Stop it. And they decide there's an auction, so they decide Wait, to buy it. Oh, thanks, Mom. They decide to buy it. And there's these, like, <laughs> hillbilly rednecks that show up at the auction, too, and they're like, you don't want this house. And they're like, $45,000. And they buy the house, and these hillbillies spit on it. And then all this creepy stuff starts happening. Like, weird noises in the night. There's a couple from the ghost. No, remember, all the American Horror Stories don't aren't coinciding with one I know, but I'm saying it's like a couple Oh, of it's the same actors. Yeah. Yeah, same actors. Mm -hmm. Cuba Gooding Jr., whatever his name is, mm -hmm. is new. Mm -hmm. He's in it this year. Is that Captain in it? Oh, no, that was a scary movie or something. I saw him in it. Oh, I don't know. They're doing a, you know, that spin off a scary movie. Scream! Scream? Yeah. Yeah, it's that Captain. No, but Evan Peters is in it, and Evan Peters is fine. Yeah, I hope Sam likes her. And Kimberly, yeah. yeah, she loves her Evan Peters. He is hot. But, um, so watch that. And how it ends, oh, I hate when shows, I knew you have to wait for that week. I know. It's awful, because how it ends is, she, she takes off, something happens, something big really happens. It's a lot. Okay, so, like, they, you know in Blair Witch, those little... Stick I love figures. Blair Witch. There's another one coming out. I know. The stick figures that they yeah. find throughout the woods, well, they get locked in the basement and they come up to the basement, like locked in the basement for like 10, 15 minutes and they come up and then their house is just filled with these figures. You know, and I was like, nope, my ass would be gone. I wouldn't even pack a suitcase. I'd be gone. And faster out. faster than the road runner, okay? Yeah. So anyways, her husband's like, we put all of our money into this place. We can't just leave. And she's like, all right, we won't leave. So like, hold on. So like, he walks away, and she just books out the door and gets in the car and drives away. And then as she's driving down the road, she hits a person, a ghost thing, gets out of the car, and she's like, "Are you okay?" And the person gets up and walks into the woods. She follows them into the woods, and she goes like ten feet in, and she gets lost. And she comes across all the stick figures again, and then she walks further into the woods. You know, getting herself more lost, and she doesn't have her phone because she left it in the car. And like, she comes across like torches on fire, and these old ass colony looking people doing something. You don't get to see it because it pans so quick. 
And then she turns and there's a guy who's like skelt. And then she screams bloody murder and it's the end of the first episode. And I was like, come on, now I gotta wait a week? Which of course you do, because that's how they get you. So, oh, the creepy little wooden things. I was like, no, I've been done. No, no, no. I'm gonna hand them all on my crap and then watch you. Well, that's different. You know, like, I know you're gonna do it, but like, you know, if somebody were to break into my house, it's 20. I know. If somebody were to break into my house, I'd be held on, get the hell out, leave. I'd be getting hours of them I'd in be my house. Water all over. Yep. No, I'd be done. I'd be like, you can have the house. I don't care if my savings are in it. I'm out, Felicia. I'd be Bye. Wa- I'd be walking into a Catholic church saying, I need holy water. Fill these gallons up, please. <laughs> but like, if it's so just... Are we doing a part two, then? Yeah, we'll do a part two. <laughs> I'm going to change out of Jamie's. We'll be back. <laughs> You're Gabby. So are you with that run?